Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are gonna solve a shaft problem and we wanna see do we get the same set of results and do we get the same rotation as the results. So the problem is very simple and the geometry is also very simple. It's composed of two extrudes. One would be a box and one would be a shaft. So these two or a circular shaft so these two will be superimposed on top of each other or we will model them as a single body and then we can apply the rotation of or torque of 2 kN meter and then we will analyze it and then we will see how we can use the same input to get the same results in both ANSYS and Abacus let's start with ANSYS first and I'm gonna use the design modeler for analysis so I'm gonna choose the YZ plane and create a 90 by 90 cube so we have this dimension here and this dimension here which is going to be 90 millimeter so 90 and 90 and then we're gonna extrude it how much is the extrusion 600 millimeter it was 90 and 90 and now and then and after that we have a 30 mil radius and then 600 millimeter 600 and we generate to create the extrude and here we have now we, we're gonna select this face and then create this circular body on top of it and we're gonna click sketch and then hit the circle and I would use these dimensions to locate it and then the radius so we would have 45 45 and then 30 radius and then we're gonna extrude it how much is the extrusion 600 mil and make sure you have the add material instead of this add frozen so and now we have our body and now we are good to go to the structural now we want to impose a fixed displacement or a fixed support at this end and at this end we want to apply the torque so let's apply the torque at this edge rather than the entire face or maybe we can use the same thing as face and then we can check if the results are any different this is the moment and I'm going to apply the moment about x and that is meter 2000 newton meter now the, one of the cool features in ANSYS is that you, we can switch the input units anytime and let's create the mesh first now because it's very simple so it can be meshed using the multi-zone method and we hit it and now we can just apply the sizing the body sizing to be let's say we have 20 it's just good mesh but not too good I just wanna make sure that we don't lose anything and I like the solver type to be direct so let's solve it and and then we can check the results so let's first check the stresses so in the stresses we have the tau AB 47.2 and then tau BC to be 13.20 tau BC BC is this section and this is AB and then C so let's let's look first for the A section so we have the shear stress 
and then we're gonna look for shooting an XY plane. It's too much. And it's 47.72. What do we have here? 47.2. That's good. So what do we have on PC? Now we don't have a way to find out until we unless we find at the faces. So we want to select these and then we would look out for the stress, shear stress. Then let's see what do we have here. Yeah, it's 13.1, which looks good, 13.2. So we could maybe just keep refining the mesh and then we will have it uh, exactly the same way. But what about the third thing? The, the de deflection in the shaft, angular deflection or angle of twist. Now what do we have as deformation is total and directional. Let's see what do we have total de deformation. It's 0.2 but in millimeter. And that doesn't seem look good. Maybe the deflection in ra radians is 0.014 or 0.82 in degrees but what do we see here is in millimeter so let's look at maybe the directional ones in x it's 0 0.008 and in y direction it's 0.42 and in z direction it's 0 0.422 that makes sense to be because it is moving, it is rotating in a y and z directions, so y and z should be the same because of the angular displacement. Now, we would, we want to put out the circular or cylindrical coordinate system, and let's try with that. So we want to apply the bond, the coordinate system at, at the center of it. But our y should be in a different direction, like in, in the z direction. So let's change it and no. So we want to look at my z should be global z. So here we have this this coordinate system and my x is global y and my z is global y as well. So we would have we would have it like this. Now let's try to see the directional deformation in the new coordinate system along y. And that is minus 0 0.42. That doesn't really mean anything. In radians or in degrees, 0 0.4, 0 0.014, and 0 0.82. Okay, now we are pretty much lost how to see the angular displacements or deformations. Let's try to see to, to solve the same problem in Abacus.